Hey guys, welcome back to the Jeremy Collin channel. Uh, I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos, but two things have come up. One, uh, I'm approaching video 500 and wanted to do something a little bit big, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. The other thing is that I have been working really hard on getting some Infinity Terrain done for a upcoming convention, which unfortunately right now, it... I don't know if we're going to be able to get into it, even though we've been kind of uh, going back and forth with the people running the convention. It is what it is. So, uh, just wanted to kind of take you through some of the terrain stuff that I've done. Uh, realizing that a lot of times people can get some inspiration and, you know, move forward with it, add to the idea. So first, let's talk about this piece of terrain here. I actually... Did, Put this together just as a means to execute the Beast of War Prisoner 09 demo mission. And so this would be the console area. We have doors on the side, which we just use the laminated cards. They come up when the doors are hacked open. So again, this piece of terrain is just something we're going to be using when we're running the Prisoner 09 mission. Other pieces of terrain, started putting together these pieces which I intend on magnetizing the bottom because the piece of terrain is actually fairly light. The board will have places where there is metal so it locks in place and as you're playing the game it doesn't, terrain doesn't move on you even though it's kind of a little bit on the light side. Started taking advantage of using the infinity buttons. This is actually going to be one of the centerpieces on the board that I'm building. Been debating about calling the board the Sphere, uh, basically because these are all the factions that are available in the Human Sphere book. And I have been creating faction towers, effectively. So this one is all the Pan Oceana with the main faction button and all the sectorials. From top to bottom, it's about five inches tall. This actually provides a good deal of cover and also doesn't break any of the notion of how tall things should be. Where if you have someone with Climbing Plus, for instance, if they camped on top of this, they wouldn't, you know, the rest of the terrain is anywhere between four and five inches, so it doesn't give them a whole lot of advantage. Here's another one for Ariadna, which only currently has two sectorials. Uh, so wherever the tower doesn't have enough sectorials to fill up all four sides, we included the infinity pin. And basically these are just pins that went into the polystyrene. We use some hot glue gun and make sure that it's secure. So again, these are just some ideas for some infinity terrain. And uh, we'll be getting another video out for you soon, including the next RTD. Have a good one, guys. Bye.